everyone, today I am going to be unboxing the latest Target Beauty Box. This one is for the month of November and the theme was Ballot Beauty. And this box was $10, that does include the free shipping and as of me recording this, there are still some available which really surprises me because I have always noticed that the Target Beauty Boxes sell out super quick. So I'm not quite certain why this one hasn't yet because I feel like um, I ordered it maybe like a week or so ago and it's still available. So um, this is what the box looks like. It always comes in a nice sleek black box. And inside we have a gorgeous blue tissue paper and then our uh, little postcard that says Ballot Beauty. And as always, it tells you everything that's inside as well as they tend to give you a $3 off a beauty purchase of 15 or more. And I just was at Target and spent over $15. Could have used that and wasn't thinking about it. So I'll just have to go back and buy some more stuff. But um, on to what's inside this box. When you open up the tissue paper, these are the products that are inside. So we're going to get into it. I'll show you everything that's included and then we can decide at the end whether or not you guys think it was worth the $10. So the first thing that I'm pulling out, and I'm really excited about this because I use this brand and I really do like it. Um, I have not used this product before, but I'm really excited to. This is the Andalo Naturals 1000 Roses Beautiful Day Cream, and I um, use the Andalo Naturals, and I have used stuff in the 1000 Roses, and it's for sensitive skin, which I have, and I do really like the brand. So I'm excited to try this, because this is the day cream. And this is a 0.4 fluid ounce tube, so let me take it out so you can see it. And it's a pretty decent sized tube of product there that's going to last a while, so... I'm really excited so far, like right off the bat of that. So that was in our box. Our next thing is a Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner. And this is um, a full-sized product. And it is just in black. Perfect. And it has a little smudge um, stick on the end as well to make more of a smoky eye look with your eyeliner. So I'll definitely use that. Next is a L'Oreal um, Thickening Shampoo, and I'm really curious about this. It's called um, Volume Filler. It's a new shampoo. This is a um, travel-sized, but um, it's for fine, thin hair. It's got phylloxane in it that is supposed to, I guess, make your hair feel thicker. I don't know if it actually makes it thicker, but it's supposed to. It says, feels like two times more hair. Um, so we shall see how that works. Um, they just sent a shampoo sample. There's no conditioner sample to go along with it, which is a little upsetting. But I'm fine with that because I'm curious to see how this works. I do have pretty um, fine hair. Um, I don't know what happened over the years. When I was young, my hair was super duper thick. And as I've been getting older, it's just getting thin and fine. So I'm just curious to see what that will be like. And I want to sniff it. Mmm. It smells good. It smells really good. Um, which is good because, I don't know, I assume since it had something weird in it, like that phylloxane, maybe it would have like a medicated kind of weird smell. Um, since it's, you know, got something in it, but it smells just like shampoo. It smells really good. So, I'm definitely going to try that out. Next, we have a keratin. Protein. This is by Hask and is a smoothing deep conditioner. So this is also a hair product. It is a 1.75 ounce. It does it softens and prevents breakage and weak damaged hair. So it's just a smoothing deep conditioner for your hair. So try that as well. Sorry, I just like touching things. But that's, um, you know, decent size. Like you, well, I know me, especially because I have thin hair, this would last me a while because my hair isn't like super thick or anything, so I wouldn't need like the whole packet. So we got that. Our next product is the Voluminous um, Primer. 
by L'Oreal. So this is also another full sized product. And this is just a primer base for your mascara. I don't typically use a primer uh, for my mascara, but now that I have a tube, like I will definitely try it out. It says it amplifies, conditions, and volumizes. So that would be interesting to try as well. And I like that it's full size. It definitely makes you feel like you're getting your money's worth out of your box. Uh, next we have a, and I have just started hearing about this brand that's being sold at Target. It's by a brand called Well People. And it is a bio brightener cream in Universal Glow. And it's just a little uh, kind of sample size, I guess. And that's what it looks like inside. I will try to swatch it for you. It's very soft, creamy. And I don't know exactly here. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this swatch. It's just a very, very, very light, um, shimmery kind of highlight there on my hand. If you can see it, I apologize if you cannot, but it is very, very light. But when the light catches it, it looks really nice. So we'll, we shall see about that. And then our last product is by Laneige, if I'm pronouncing that right. I know I've gotten a moisturizer of theirs in a Target Beauty box before, and I really liked it. It is the Water Bank Soothing Gel Mask, and it is for all skin. So it's a one-time use, like, paper mask that has the product on it. And I really like using these masks, so I'm excited to try that as well. So that is everything that was inside of this um, Target Beauty box. I do feel, we did get, it looks like, at least two, three, I don't know, I don't know if this would be considered a full size product, it looks like something, considering this hang tag, like it's something you'd be able to, you know, purchase this whole thing. Um, the L'Oreal is definitely full size, Revlon's definitely full size, obviously um, the face mask is full size, that's not a sample. So, I think... I think this box was worth $10 to me, and like I said, I don't really know why it hasn't sold out yet. I don't know if people just saw what's inside, because you can see what's inside before you buy um, the box, and maybe people just weren't like super excited about the contents, but to me, this is all stuff that I will definitely either use or try out, so I'm excited about it. Uh, but like I said, it's still available if you are interested in checking it out. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.